Hey guys, Jeff Dickens here at the Collector Zone. Today we're hanging out at Half Price Books. This is where I find my collectibles for video games, movies, and books. Because you know me, I'm a collector of everything, including records. So let's check this out. I haven't been here since the pandemic began, but I got my shot, so I feel a little comfortable. All right. So what we can do here is do some hunting. Let's see here. We'll start with video games and movies. So that's where your video games are here. Let's see if they have some old school Nintendo. I'm always after the old school stuff. So as you can see, you got PS4, PS3. Got your PS2 and your PS1. All right. Not much for PS1 here. Let's see here. They got your Nintendo covered. Excuse the glare. Sun's coming in as well. So they're grouping your Nintendo games here. Yeah, it's got some Activision games. You got PC. Not much on the PC guy. You got Xbox. And books. Bummer. I was really hoping. Oh, look, there's some Nintendo. So, you got the regular NES. Got yeah, Super NES. Yeah, that's about it. Let's see here. Um, we got movies here. Now, when you're doing your search for Star Wars, you want to look for the DVD version. Where it was a two disc set of the special edition and then the regular release. That's where you get the one where it doesn't have the uh, intro episode four on the first Star Wars. Let's see here if they have any. So you have these highs, so let's go around here. Let's see here. Where's your Star Wars? Okay, so this is a regular release. And the story of Star Wars bonus disc. I don't have that. Might just get check it out. Okay, so adding something to my collection that you read it back in. Hopefully, you can see all that. The story of Star Wars. Remember the uh, one they had for on record. Star Wars bonus material. That's seven ninety nine. That's a good one to have in the collection. I already have one. Of course, you got the regular Empire. These are the special editions only. But you want to look for it's it's regular Star Wars trilogy. Oh look, I think this is the box set. Let me double check it. Oh, uh, no, this is not what I was thinking. It says Star Wars trilogy. I'll put that away in a second. Force Awakens. This one should be the regular one. Let me see here. Yeah, I use just the regular ones. Special, special edition with just the uh, regular box. If you get a chance, like I said, the other one. 
and this is full screen you always want to go for the silver because it's white screen the gold ones full screen and i don't know why you want to watch star wars in full screen but that's just me well you got some star trek stuff here all right so i got this boxed up see it's got phantom menace and stuff but right here it says the regular trilogy so that's mismarked i guess they broke it up to set because here's that but i did get this one cool adding that to my collection all right let's see what else we got here they got all kinds of tv shows and stuff check this out so if you're into collecting games they got Jumanji 15 bucks too bad it doesn't look like the one from the movie that'd be really killer and here's a whole bunch of other video games video games what am I saying? I got video games in the brain. I mean, board games. Star Wars Saga Edition Trivial Pursuit. I wonder how good I'll be good playing that game. How much is this? Ten bucks. It says missing pack or cards. Hmm. At least you know it's missing stuff. Know what you're getting into. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see here. We got a technical manual for the next generation. Good. Doctor Who look. Let's see here. Star Wars Starfire Workshop. Not sure what that's all about. Probably pop up oh, only probably build paper stuff. The Force Awakens. Hmm. Central characters. Interesting. You got your Star Trek stuff here. Doctor Who. Ah, got a quiz book here. All right. Check that out. Got some Doctor Who collectible figures. Got your Star Trek ones. They're priced really reasonable. One thing I gotta tell you, you come here, get some cool collectibles. See now this is ten bucks and we saw it over at Madness for a lot more than that. DC Vault. The museum and a book. And this was 12 bucks here it says. Oh that's kind of cool. Look at that. Now it's not in the best condition. Probably why it's 12 bucks. This is kind of cool. So it includes these things. Huh. 
I might just get this just because these collectibles. It's kind of cool they include this here. It's a reproduction though. Yeah, of course they're going to be reproductions. <laughs> oh, this is badass. Comes with a layer. I guess you could open up and then it stays open. It'd be kind of cool if you could open up and seal it back up. Yeah, these are all sealed. So... Oh, okay, you can pull them out. All right, right on. Yeah. And cut my eye. Hmm. Try and be gentle. I'm just this with one hand hold <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, respect the collectible. You know what? There we go. All right. I think I'll be picking this one up. Just because I'm a big DC fan. And for 12 bucks, you can't go wrong. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Well, guys, I'm not going to torture you anymore. I'm going to continue looking for some cool collectibles. If you thought this video was cool, please hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate you, and I want to thank all my new subscribers that came to hang out at the Collector Zone. And, guys, I'm going to continue my collectibles shopping. There's.